Hi guys. How are you? I am going to be talking about what you guys really wanted to be to talk about and that's the difference between a porn star and a camo and I'm just going to get right to it. Um, yeah, like a lot of people get the definitions misconstrued and I'm here to set the record straight. And uh, I don't want to piss anyone off, but you can't make everyone happy, so. You like my outfit? <laughs> I'll stand up for you guys at one point, <laughs> but I'm going to just go ahead and get to the topic, okay? So, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. What's the difference between a porn model and a cam star? Okay, so we're going to start off with the porn stars because I know you guys, you guys, when I hear that part first. The difference between a porn star and a cam model. Okay, so this is the thing. A porn star is someone who actually, whether it's professional or non-professional, whether it's black market, low budget, whatever you want to call it, um, it's all porn. If you have sexual intercourse with someone on camera of the opposite sex, you have officially crossed the line between cam model and porn. Say two girls are camming together and they decide to have sex. That's still a cam model, okay? If you are camming with a guy, you two are cam models, and you two decide to have sex on camera. You two are porn stars. It doesn't matter if you know each other or not. It doesn't matter if it's professional or not. Yes, professional porn is not as real as the black market porn because you have producers around. You have people telling you how to do this, do that. Certain angles may look good on camera, but not feel so good in personal life, in real life. So, and then on top of that, in most cases, you probably don't even know the person that you're working with. But some porn stars have an option of whether or not they, you know, some like to get to know the guys first before they do anything with them and so on and so on. So, it, the whole thing about it is. If you're having sexual intercourse on camera, you're a porn star. But like I said, the professional porn, you have producers around, you know, you have to, you know, save a cum shot for a certain part. Like, you have to jerk off. You know, the girl doesn't make it hard. You got to take, you, you see what I'm saying? But, like, and then the, the, the look of it. The, the aesthetics, the settings, all of that. Like, if I did porn, me personally, I would do the professional porn. But I'm not white. And what I mean by that is the white porn stars, the women, they get paid the most out of everyone, okay? So if I did porn, I would not do it with this nationality. No, I would not. If I was a white chick, of course, of course I... I would probably not have a problem with getting into one porn. And, um, but this, me personally, like how I am now, like being spiritual and stuff, I just feel like doing porn is kind of like selling your soul. And the long term effect, the physical, mental, and emotional long-term effect of it is not worth it to me no one can buy you can't buy privacy you can't buy mystery you can't buy innocence once you enter into the porn industry the all of that is gone you know what I mean and if you excuse me I have a strong sleep but if you are up here and you have men, a uh, high value man wanting you, and you decide to do porn, you automatically take your, your value down to here. You know what I mean? So 
you just have to consider all of that. You have to consider the fact that you're you're compromising, you're sacrificing your personal life, you're sacrificing your personal regular relationship, you're sacrificing all of that. Any man of any man that you may have wanted in a higher caliber is not going to want you because a man a man in the high caliber are very highly respected in their community and to be walking beside someone that's accessible and that everybody can see at any given moment and, and see that look in their face and that intimate moment that no one else is supposed to see everybody can see it it's no longer special they want high value men want someone that's not easy to get they want someone that you know yeah, I mean, even though, even with the camel, it's kind of down the same path, but it's not as bad, you know what I mean? Like, you're not having sex with a whole other person. And then on top of that, anytime, like, say he loves you or whatever, he has to worry about seeing that. He has to worry about his friends seeing that. He has to worry about his brothers, his family, his mother, his father, his kids, your kids. Like, <laughs> that is just a whole nother ball game. Like, cow models and porn stars are not in the same caliber. Yes, porn stars may, sometimes may, make more than a cow model off of that field alone. But richness and wealth is not all about money. It's not all about money. And, um, The, most, the two most successful people, and a lot of successful people, know that the key to success is mystery. Ooh. The key to success is mystery. You know, let me fix this mirror. Yeah, but the key to success in relationships in marriage or whatever is mystery like and when you become a porn star you no longer have that yes cam models you know they share uh, uh certain parts of themselves with the world but at the same time not not that intimate you know what i mean like i would rather be like a escort or a prostitute than be a porn star because that's still stuff behind closed doors like once you do that shit, it's like on the cam it's, it's on the internet forever. And the more black market porn you put out there, the worse for you because it's even harder to get off the internet. Like, it, I, me personally, like if you, if I did decide to do porn, it would either probably be with someone I'm married to because I don't believe in divorce, so you're stuck with me forever. So we might as well do this. Or, if I do it, it's going to be professional. It's going to be tasteful. Like, the whole TV is going to be nice. Everything is going to be nice. If I'm putting anything out on the internet, that shit is going to look professional as fuck. And nobody's not going to be able to say shit, okay? Everything is going to be looking good. Lighting going to be perfect. Everything. And I'm going to be high paid. I, if I do a poor, I'm going to be the highest paid in the game. I'm not, I'm not talking about little chump change. I'm talking about real money, like the, the, the money that the white chicks be getting. Anyhow, um, that's the difference between a porn star and a cow model. A cow model holds innocence. She holds mystery. She has still has a big chance of getting married and just leaving the whole family life behind her. But when you're doing porn, whether it's low budget or professional, that shit follows you forever. So, my advice to camera models out there is if things get hard for you, then consider that. And if you do porn, don't let it be for money. Let it be because you genuinely want to do it. And you don't give a fuck if you have a future or not. You see what I'm saying? You don't care about getting married. You don't care about if your kids is going to get bullied in school. You have to consider all of that. And like they say on Players Club, like, 
Make the money. Don't let it make you. Don't be so so hung up on having a certain type of lifestyle that you're willing to sell your soul for. Because at the end of the day, some things are just priceless. Some things cannot be replaced. You can never get your innocence back. Ever. Ever. And that's one thing I value. That's why I love nature. That's why I love animals. That's why I love the simple thing in life. Like birds, lizards, like little stuff like that. Because I still hold my innocence. And a man that really is of high value, he adores that. He adores grace. He adores elegance. He adores class. You know, if you want all those things, please think before you decide to do some motherfucking porn, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you all the next time.